Hello traders, welcome to the advanced MT4 course and the first module introduction to the MT4 platform. In this lesson we're going to teach you how to create different MT4 profiles, why you should create different profiles and how you can manage them. So let's go to the platform so we can start this lesson. And a profile on the MT4 platform is a chart uh, setup. In other words, a profile should be or could be this six chart setup on this uh, screen right now. For example, uh, these are the major currency pairs. If you notice, we have uh, the Euro US dollar, the dollar, uh, the GBP USD, the USD Japanese yen, the US dollar Swiss franc, the Aussie US dollar, and the Euro GBP. These are the most traded currency pairs. Uh, so you should have a profile focusing only on them. And uh, another profile could be uh, six stock charts that you monitor and another profile should be commodities and metals. And uh, you do this because if you have all of your charts on the same profile, you will have a very clogged workstation or and you are not going to be able to notice uh, large price movements, okay? And uh, if you are worrying about missing price moves on other profiles that you are not currently monitoring, don't worry, because by the end of this course, you will know how to set up price alerts. And even though you are in uh, the major currency pair profile, the and uh, you have some alerts on Amazon, for example, on the stock profile, and Amazon hits this price level, and the alert triggers. You you will get noticed, and you can jump back to the Amazon chart and place your trade either on your MT4 platform or your binary options broker. So let's start. Uh, let's say that uh, this is one. Uh, uh, profile that you want to save you just go to file and to, you go to profiles right here and as you can see uh, we were working on the default um, on the default profile that comes with the mt4 and the mt4 has the british pound euro market overview and swiss franc uh, profiles as default also uh, let me just show you what they mean by gbpusd uh, if you are into uh, monitoring aggressively one currency pair for example you can have three charts of the same currency pair on different time frames for example we can have the the, the five minute here uh, the 30 minute here and the hourly here etc okay and you can work on them and pray and uh, place your alerts on them too uh, but we are not going to do this so we are going to jump back to the default which is our major currency pair profile. Now, to save it, you just go he uh, here and you save it as majors, okay? And you click on OK. Now, this profile has been saved, so we are going to create a new profile. And we are going to create a uh, stock profile because remember that uh, in Invest2, we not only teach you how to trade Forex, but we also teach you how to trade every other financial asset that you can lay your hands on. So we are going to click on Apple and drag it to the first chart. We are going to click on Google and uh, for example, uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, Baidu is another one that is moving in, uh, um, that is moving strongly and that can be day traded uh, another one that can be day traded is linkedin and let's go with yahoo okay so we have finished with uh, the um, stocks that we want to monitor so we go to file and uh, we save the profiles as stocks okay now uh, we want to also create a uh, profile that will allow us to monitor both commodities and uh, also 
stock indices. So we are going to grab and uh, drop the gold chart right here, crude oil and natural gas. Then we're going to go all the way down here and we are going to choose the stock indices that we want uh, to work on and we want to trade. For example, we are going to choose the Dow, which is the USA 30 right here. The USA 500, of course, is the S&P 500 right here. Um, the Germany 30 is the DAX, which is also a good stock indice to trade. And the UK 100 is the FTSE. And we close our market watch, we go to profiles and we save it as stock indices and stock indices, crude and gold. Okay. And now we have our three profiles set on the MT4 platform and you can go back and forwards from them. If you want to go to stocks, you just click on stocks and as you can see, here are the stocks that we choose to monitor and uh, if you want to go to the majors, you just click on majors and it goes to the Forex profile. So this is very important because we are starting to create a truly working, a, a truly functional working atmosphere. Uh, with our MT4 platform. And uh, it is very important for you to understand that uh, this is not set up in stone. If uh, you don't trade Forex, for example, and you only trade uh, stocks and uh, you make the difference between uh, uh, stocks with high volume and stocks with low volume or uh, stocks with uh, plus 10 points daily ranges and stocks with the minus 10 points daily ranges or whatever uh, uh, whatever the setting in your mind is you can do it by just following these easy steps and of course uh, it is my personal preference to have only six charts on my working station because um, I can actually see the price movements in them and uh, if you start adding charts, uh, for example, let me show you. Let's add another four charts to this, um, to the uh, to the forex profile, and uh, let's style it. Uh, if you start adding charts, you can see that uh, the price action is less clear than if you had just six charts on your profile. But uh, again, that's just my preference, and you are free to do. Or, or free to configure your profiles the way you want. And uh, just to wrap up this lesson, remember that this is important because uh, what we are trying to do here is, is uh, we are trying to create a, a, a nice working environment, uh, an easy to flow trading workstation.